Hanbury Hall is located in the village of Hanbury, near Droitwich in Worcestershire. The house was built in the early part of the 18th century, being finished in 1706. The house, and around 8,000 acres of land, was owned by the Vernon family, the first of whom, Reverend Richard Vernon, moved to the area in the 16th century. He and his descendants bought up most of the land, with much of it being leased out as farmland. In the 18th century, Emma Vernon, the daughter of Thomas and Emma Vernon, was heiress to Hanbury Hall and would have had a huge annual income if she hadn't married Henry Cecil. In her teenage years, she was sent to London to learn to speak French and to learn how to dance to help her become suitable for marriage to aristocracy as her mother wished her to gain a title through marriage. Ideally, meeting a bankrupt noble would have been perfect, but she met Henry Cecil, the nephew and heir of the 8th Earl of Exeter. Like many other young noblemen of that time, Henry was more interested in hunting and gambling rather than managing an estate. Emma Vernon and Henry Cecil married in 1776. It was the start of a loveless relationship they had a child a year after being married, Henry Vernon Cecil, who sadly didn't survive past five weeks old. After the death of their son, Henry started spending more time in London, only visiting Hanbury Hall to entertain his friends, hunting, drinking and gambling. Emma became deeply depressed and began drinking heavily and became addicted to opium. Her depression and addictions caused her to be suicidal. She wrote several suicide notes to Henry, who didn't acknowledge them. In 1785, nine years after their marriage, the local vicar employed an assistant named William Sneed, who was attracted to Emma, and she was attracted to him. They eventually fell in love and began a secret affair. Eventually, Henry found out about the affair, and Emma asked for a divorce, which Henry refused. She asked Henry if she could meet with William for one last time, and Henry agreed. As Henry was a member of Parliament, he didn't want anybody to find out about his wife's affair, so he let them meet up in secret, as long as his brother accompanied her. They met up in Birmingham at a hotel called the Hen and Chicken, where Emma and William had secretly arranged for a carriage to be waiting for them at the back entrance of the hotel. They eloped and moved to Devon under the pseudonym of Benson to start a new life. Hanbury Hall stood empty over the next few years as Henry also moved out. He moved to a small village in Shropshire called Great Bolas and lodged with a poor farming family called Hoggins, but lived under the pseudonym of Jack Jones to hide his identity. Henry fell in love with the 16-year-old daughter of the farming family, Jane Hoggins. He was around 20 years older than Jane, and at this time in his life, he was in great debt from gambling. In 1790, Henry and Jane married at a local church but Henry was still married to Emma Vernon. In 1791, he obtained a divorce by an act of parliament and had a legal marriage in October of the same year. During the divorce process, Henry cleared his gambling debts by selling most of the furniture and artwork from Hanbury Hall, leaving it almost empty. Emma Vernon and William Sneed married on the 13th of October, 1791, but William died only two years into the marriage. In 1795, Emma remarried an old friend, a wealthy lawyer, John Phillips, and they settled down in Bewdley 
until 1804 when Henry Cecil died and they moved into Hanbury Hall. Emma died in 1818 and John died in 1836 in Edstone, near Stratford upon Avon. One night, a woman had visited her brother in the area. As she was driving home, she travelled along Church Avenue when she noticed a woman in a black dress standing at the side of the road. She decided to stop the car and ask the woman if she was okay. But as she approached her, she disappeared. A few months later, when visiting her brother again, she told him what she had witnessed that night, and he said, Oh, that's just the ghost of Emma Vernon. A lesser known ghost story of Hanbury Hall haunts a pantry in the kitchen area. In the 19th century, a butler took his own life in the kitchen pantry. It is said that after the incident, if you went into the pantry with any kind of light, it would always go out 